Team coverage of the Florida freeze continues in Lake County where farmers are hoping their preps have helped their crops to stay warm overnight. Fox 35's Matt Treza joins us live from Oak Haven Farms in Sorrento. And Matt, farmers have been working overnight to protect their crops. That's right. These sprinklers that you see behind me here have been going the entire night and what they're doing is they're actually putting down a layer of protection across the crops and all this lush green leaves that you see behind me here is a huge field of delicious looking strawberries. You can see that there's a layer of ice over everything and that has been that has been on purpose specifically and also you see this mist in the air that is also generated by the water and what that does it creates kind of like a layer of insulation believe it or not that keeps the ground warm. Now it's kind of a technical process to explain it all as Harry Stoderman he is the owner of Oak Haven. So tell me, uh, why run these sprinklers throughout the night like this? Well, the, the water actually protects the crop from freezing. And the way it does that is um, if, you keep, if, you, if you keep the crop wet, it, it's not freezing. And as the, as the air cools down and the ice builds up, as long as we can keep the ice wet on the outside, then the temperature of that ice is 32 degrees. The plant underneath would also be 32 degrees, and there's no damage at 32 degrees. Got it. But it is a very thin line, I understand, between 32 degrees and a temperature that can damage the plant. What's that? That is correct. The blossoms are very tender. <clears throat> if, <clears throat> if they pull temperature out at 31 degrees, they will actually be killed and die, and then you'll have no berry from that blossom. So once it goes below 32, we have to turn the sprinklers on and keep them running until it raises above 32 again. Got it. And how, what about the quality of the fruit, given the temperature out here and the weather? The fruit will be fine. Uh, the layer of ice doesn't damage the fruit at all. And once it melts off, you can pick that strawberry and, and eat it right today, and they'll be great. We will actually be open today from 11 to 4, and there'll be good strawberries out there to pick. Excellent. And how has the, the visitorship been throughout the season? It's been a great year so far. We've had really nice weather all December and January. It had a great turnout, and the quality's been excellent also. Excellent. Thank you so much. Hopefully some folks are going to come out and try these wonderful strawberries to get today. Again, Oak Haven Farms in Sorrento open from 11 to 4 today. Live in Lake County, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News. Matt